Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Johnson Sunmin Miller. All right, friends, um, don't be a bodhisattva. Don't be a bodhisattva. Um, you know, often hear uh, Mahayana uh, Buddhists, great vehicle Buddhists. Uh, refer to uh, Hinayana Buddhists, lesser vehicle uh, Buddhists, and um, you know, the term gener- today the only sorts of Buddhists who are around who would count under uh, Hinayana are uh, are Theravada uh, Buddhists, and often here in in our order at least uh, frequent references to Hinayana Buddhism, often prefaced by uh, this statement um, that you know I'm not using the term in a derogatory way. Though I wonder if you got to preface what you say by saying, I don't mean this in a derogatory way. I'm wondering if maybe we shouldn't say it. Um, that it could be uh, nonetheless um, denigrating, hurting uh, people to whom it uh, might refer. And uh, Sung San, um, who is one of the uh, important um, influences on on or, our order he was uh, uh very explicit about zen being superior to he saw zen as or at least talked about zen as separate from mahayana buddhism and zen was superior to mahayana buddhism and mahayana buddhism was superior to theravada buddhism um and that uh the idea that well theravada buddhists are somehow interested only in their own awakening uh, the Mahayana Buddhists are interested in the awakening of everybody. Uh, but Zen Buddhists also are interested in the awakening of everybody, but can help them faster and better than Mahayana Buddhists. Okay, so you have this, you know, ranking of the different schools of Buddhism, one being uh, better than uh, than the other, according to uh, Sun San. Let's say, you know, it's so this idea of of Hinayana is a inferior form of Buddhism. You know, who's it making this? I think this term says more about Mahayana Buddhists than it does about Theravada uh, Buddhists, that we're the ones making Hinayana Buddhism, that Hinayana Buddhism doesn't exist out there among Theravada Buddhists. It exists in here uh, within ourselves, the ones uh, creating these, uh, these separations. Um, and then I think about just, and one of the traditional claims about the superiority of Mahayana Buddhism is the, um, the, the bodhisattva ideal and with a you know, traditional version of that being that we vow to um, continue rebirth um, presumably as Buddhas uh, until everybody has been uh, been awakened and um, uh, first of all I don't know personally I'm not really willing to bet on the reality of rebirth I personally don't remember having uh, lived or died uh, before so that seems a pretty big uh, pretty big gamble um, to claim the superiority of my version of Buddhism off of something that I can't really uh, can't confirm there um, and then besides that just like who's going to be reborn you know so anyway that's just a separate problem uh, that, that I got there um, and um, and so just this whole question of, you know, if you're going to really vow to be, re- to be reborn until everybody else and not liberate oneself from the cycle of rebirth until everybody else has been awakened, you know, I mean, just how you really, you're really going to be able to do that. Of course, I don't know any Western, know of any Western Buddhists who have actually taken that, that vow. That's a, you know, a traditional uh, view of it. And of course, uh, Hui Neng, um, uh, shot all this down in the seventh century in the Platform Sutra. Anyway, you know where he it's, that has the um, the version, the earliest version of the Bodhisattva vows, like that we do here at the beginning, um, that that I know of. But he was he had included that in a whole catalog of Buddhist concepts that he was just destroying, and, and I shouldn't say destroying, but emptying. You know that um, sentient beings and us, we vow to save them all. And in there, he's made like, well, you know. If, if you're making separation between yourself and other beings, then you're not um, awake and you're in no position to be saving anybody else anyway, right? He goes through the uh, point by point, emptying the Bodhisattva vows uh, entirely anyway. Um, and 
now more recently hearing people use the term bodhisattva just to refer to uh, somebody who um, uh, empathetic people who you know who acting on that that empathy to uh, help other beings, uh, which I'm totally for. Absolutely, I'm totally for uh, for doing that. You know, but if that's what a bodhisattva is, then um, boy, a Theravada Buddhist sure, in my experience with them, uh, sure seem to be a bunch of bodhisattvas, um, very much interested in, in helping others. Well, first of all, helping others awaken. So there's nothing unique with Mahayana Buddhists there, but also helping, uh, just helping relieve other people's uh, suffering just on a basic day-to-day -day, uh, basis. So even that really basic idea, uh, really earthy idea of the bodhisattva, there's no um, nothing special about Zen Buddhists and certainly nothing awful about Theravada Buddhists that they're not not into that and forget Buddhism I mean have you ever met Mr. Rogers I mean I, I'll put Mr. Rogers up against any supposed bodhisattva any day I mean as a, in terms of a person who knows how to be present with others who is empathetic and willing to go way out of his way to help um, to help others and relieve their suffering um, he he's yeah uh, he's he's uh, he's wonderful, uh, and he he was a Christian, like a Methodist or Lutheran minister. He went to seminary. I forget. So he's not even a, a Buddhist. So um, you know. So if you're like ranking schools of Buddhism, I guess Christians are down below Hinayana, right? But uh, I'll put Mr. Rogers way up there at the at the top in that regard. So to me, it's Hinayana is a really heavy stone to be carrying around. Like the Bodhisattva is a heavy stone to be carrying around. It's a whole lot of baggage. Um, and, and those things are, you know, are all in here. Again, there's not, you know, Theravada Buddhists out there. They're not Hinayana. That's something that we make. Um, so why don't I drop those stones, drop Hinayana, drop Bodhisattva, and then just do what we can to wake up and uh, support all living creatures and just do that. <laughs>